No title card, no editing, no nothing. No editing unless I have to cut for time to make this more concise. I do not feel like having to make this video. I wish I didn't have to make this video. I wanted to wait. I, my throat is sore. Uh, you know, if I hadn't set up my tripod to record another video, I would not be making this video this morning. This is the morning of uh, March 27th, 2011. And I and a friend of mine, Pete Dorr, is also on YouTube. They, we went to the Nintendo 3DS uh, flagship launch uh, event in New York City at the Union Square Best Buy. And we had a good time. You know, they... But, unfortunately, there's a huge scar on the whole experience. And I don't like being negative. I don't like making negative videos. But the only way I could say this is that the way Best Buy handled certain aspects of the event was very poor. They did, in some aspects, they just didn't have their act together. And it made me mad enough, uh, upset enough to make me want to make this video. Now, first off, I'm I'm number 19 in line. Uh, Pete was number 20, and in the I th I believe in the Business Wire press release, and all the promotional material I saw for this event, the flagship North American 3DS launch at Best Buy with the president of Nintendo there, the president of Best Buy there, you know, a huge spectacle. They gave us these 3D glasses to throw up at midnight because we wouldn't need them anymore because the 3DS doesn't need glasses. But there were some problems, and they started towards the end. Well, first off, okay, and all the promotional material I read from employees, I don't know who specifically they're working for, if they're working for Best Buy, if they're working for some agency that came in to run the event, if they're working for Nintendo, I don't know. But what I know is that I was, we were told numerous, numerous times that the first 25 were going to get special stuff, hats, hats, hooded sweatshirts with the 3DS logo on them. Uh, t-shirts, I happen to get the t-shirt purely by chance, I'll go into that, into that later. Yeah, t-shirts, and hooded sweatshirts, and these were supposed to be distributed, these were special perks for the first 25 people in line. I was number 19, Pete was number 20. And we, we, they, gave, they gave us out the hats, they, gave, they had plenty of hats, they gave out the lanyards, the lanyards were like, they had too, they couldn't give those away, they had too many of those. Uh, they, they gave yeah, the, the lanyards, the hats, the uh, bags, the sort of zip-up bags with a drawstring and, you, and they double his shoulder packs, use his backpack. They had all that. We got we got plenty of that. The the the, the nicer stuff, stuff, the more upscale stuff that the first 25 people were supposed to get. Well, a lot of us didn't get it. You know why? Because when it came time to distribute the shirts, because we were in a sort of in a line before, and when the DJ came up, they had everyone rush to the front because they were throwing they were throwing out. We were, there was instead of orderly, hand, or, in an orderly fashion, handing out the shirts to the first, first 25, and then maybe throwing some to the other people who showed up later. Maybe they'd have a chance to get a shirt. Instead, they had every. All I knew was that I saw a bunch of people rushing past me where I was sitting, in, you know, on 19th in my sort of queue. They were throwing T-shirts and hooded sweatshirts out to the crowd like a, like meat to a pack of starving rat, rabid hyenas. It was ridiculous. Uh, people were push shoving each other. People were getting knocked to the ground. There was a woman with crutches that almost got knocked to the ground a couple of times. She was with her young daughter, and and people. I, let, let's just say I got my hands on three shirts. All three. I no. Like I got two shirts besides this one. As I was trying to get a shirt before I finally got this one, were snatched out of my hands, and. Then uh, a couple, uh, one or two of the hooded sweatshirts I got in my hands, and they were snatched out of my hands. And like people were nearly, I'm surprised a lot of these shirts aren't ruined. Like because people were like fighting over, they weren't fist fighting, but they were like tugging back and forth. Excuse me, my dog's barking. I'm not going to refilm this video because I don't have the time to. But anyway, dogs, uh, dogs barking. But yeah, they, they were pulling the shirts from each other, and they were throwing them and walking down the line. They'd throw a couple out. They weren't handing them out. They weren't tossing the shirts to us so much. They were just tossing them out there. If you caught it good, it was like trying to catch a, you know, a home run ball. It was ridiculous. And so, and because of that, uh, the people and a lot of the people in the first 25, I didn't beat it. I eventually uh, got my hands on a shirt. This is pure chance I even have this shirt. Um, they, 
it was a big mess. And I went up after, when I talked to the cashier, I thought, well, maybe that wasn't the uh, giveaway for the first 25. Because they made a big point out of, you know, the first 25, you know, when they were lining people up and distributing the bracelets early on before more people showed up. It was a big deal that we were in the, the top 25. Like, we are going to get all this special stuff, and we did. And so I thought, maybe there's something else. So I, when it's time to buy the system, I'm up in the, in the Best Buy store, and I talked to the cashier, oh, what are, we, what are the special first 25 going to get? He didn't hear anything about this. They have no idea what's going on. He asks, like, his uh, manager or supervisor or whoever, what's going on with uh, the first 25? Oh, like, you get, like, a carrying case for being in the first 300. I did get the carrying case, by the way. You'd, you know, you, you, for the first 300, get a carrying case. I'm like, but the, the first 25 are supposed to get something. And it's like, oh, there's nothing. And afterwards, I talked to a few different Best Buy people on the floor. And I was like, hey, you know, the first 25 and all your promotional shows said the first 25 are supposed to get something cool. You know, I came from more than 50 miles away to attend this event. I could have easily just walked into my local GameStop on Sunday morning. No bother, no waiting, no drama. But I went to the Best Buy event because that was the big flagship event for the 3DS launch in North America. The, and I was in the top 25 and I was supposed to get some special stuff. Uh, and I, I didn't get it, and there's like, oh, sorry, we sort of just tossed them out to everyone. And uh, I don't know who made that decision to do that. I don't know if, who made that decision, but it was a mess. And and another thing, I was, sta I was standing next to the, to the camera platform, and they were going to film Reggie. This is in the line. Um, basically, I was standing someplace. And they said, okay, everyone who, ha and who has a bracelet you know, near the front of the line, you know, the top 25 and so forth, uh, form towards, uh, organize yourselves towards the front. So I stepped away. And this wasn't a cordoned off area. This wasn't like someplace I wasn't supposed to be. Me and Pete were standing next to each other for the longest time watching the DJ up, up top and waiting for Reggie to show up. So we walk uh, past... Uh, sort of this this area next to the camera platform looking for, we talked to a couple of people who were working there and there's, oh, where are we supposed to line up? Where are we supposed to line up? Oh, we don't know. So I go, we go, I start walking back towards where I was because there were, uh, well, first off, I was standing there before, no problem, no one told me, to, you know, kicked me out. There was no issue with me standing there and me and Pete, and Pete was actually in front of me there. So we walk up and um, and he, the, guy, the guy has is sort of blocking the, uh, the area, like he just has his leg up, I'm like, excuse me, and he, you know, and he lets me through, and then Pete comes, and he doesn't let him through, he like says like, hey, I just go ahead, don't stay on the camera platform, and then he lets me through, but then he refused to let Pete through, and I'm not going to go into these social issues, but I'm, I'll just leave it at the fact that I, I was being, he was, the security guard was most certainly playing favorites, letting me through, and then not letting Pete through, as though we weren't together. I don't even think he realized we were together. Uh, yeah, he let Pete through. He let me through, and he refused to let Pete through. He like held out his leg and wouldn't let him go. Come with me. Follow me. And and he just like was like forget this, and he you know walked past because we're trying to talk to Nintendo. I was talking to a Nintendo employee who was telling us where to arrange to buy our systems. And he came, he walked, he just walked past him. And it, we didn't jump over a rope, we didn't go over a, he didn't go over a sanction. And the security guard was, started shouting uh, at Pete to, you know, if you don't go where I tell you, if you don't go back, I'm going to eject you from the line. And, you, and, meanwhile, and meanwhile, he's giving us, us grief. I'm saying us. He was talking to Pete, but I'm with him. And if, if he's giving him, Pete trouble, he's giving me trouble as far as I'm concerned. And so we're talking to this an intent, uh, some sort of employee who's, who knows what's going on. It's like, oh, you know, goes here and here. And he's like trying to pull us back and, and get and start trouble with us, you know, taking his uh, authority over his square wrench of, uh, of the line. And he's yelling at us. And meanwhile, we're just trying to get our instructions on, on how to, to leave the area that he wants us to leave anyway, which there wouldn't, wasn't a problem with us being at anyway. And I'm going to say one other thing. I did overhear a Nintendo of America employee uh, mention, I'm not going to name names, not, but he uh, was talking to another Nintendo employee that they, were, they themselves were dissatisfied with some of the ways in which uh, Best Buy was operating during the event. And I still shop, I'm still probably going to shop at Best Buy. It doesn't hurt my opinion of the brand, but you got to, I'm not happy. I, I I came, I was supposed to get a sweat, hooded sweatshirt, I was supposed to get a, uh, a t-shirt that I'd not, not have to nearly die for it. I mean, they weren't fist fighting, but it was a mad rush. 
they didn't take care of the the people in the first 25 in the way that they were advertised they advertised that they were going to and it was a that was a disappointing experience that unfortunately despite the good time i had i got free food and all that but uh, it made me have to make this video and so that alone is, shows you that they didn't do this video like we're supposed to like they didn't run the event as well as it could have been run for an event that's supposed to reflect on Best Buy as a whole and the whole experience of shopping and going to Best Buy and being catered to by Best Buy and uh, I'm, that was disappointing so thank you very much for watching and I'm sorry I had to make this video